Hey there, dear Spellweaver community, and welcome back to another episode of Spell Weaver Ranked. And today we play something that I just found on SpellweaverDB.com, and it's called Purple Priests. Not only is this a deck, by the way, that uh, definitely gets my camera all moist and wet because of all the peas in there, but um, it's also a deck uh, that Vanguard X uh, is pretty passionate about, I guess. Uh, so what is Purple Priests all about? Um, I just went on SpellviewerDB.com for the last episode, by the way, for the Rage Dominion Zash one. And I found this one right here, and um, it sounds pretty convincing, I might say. So, what is Purple Priest all about while I'm playing this in Spellweaver Ranked now? Because of this. This is um, the article that Vanguard X posted on SpellweaverDB.com. Uh, and you're gonna see in a little bit why he's pretty passionate about this. So, he's saying, I initially posted the Purple Priest's list on June 3rd after playing it in a bunch of tournaments. Since then... Uh, Vital spectated me, copied the list, and made an imperfect copy of the deck that turned out to be better than my initial initial version. Imperfect, you, that usually means it's not as good, So, but he went out better for him, so it's actually better. Um, Stall y'all played Purple Priests in Path of to the Transcendence, the commentators, the Fuss, and Baldwin called it trash and not very good. Multiple players, me, Vidal, Cruelteck, played ver versions of Purple Priests at above 75% win rates on ladder. Cruelteck whined that the deck was too good on Discord while playing it obsessively <laughs> and beating down new players. Many people asked me, what is this magical Purple Priests list? I'm finally here to share it with you. I was hoping I could keep this under uh, one under wraps until after Masters because it would have been fun to win it with a trash deck. Yeah, he really rubs it in, doesn't he? But uh, the cat is out of the bag. The Fuzz and Balduin are wrong. Shots fired, boy. This deck is quite good, and it's good because it introduces a new archetype to Spellweaver, the aggro heal deck. Uh, that's not new. Um, my uh, Chalice, <laughs> even though that, tra that deck is fucking garbage, but uh, in, at least in ranked, it's awesome in friendlies. Uh, Soldiers of Youngs is the same thing. Um, there have always been decks that aim to win via Spellweaver's 40 life win condition. Yeah, does tell me something I don't know. But there's never been a deck that can do this quickly. Classic one turn heal uh, yeah, is a control deck, wiping the opponent's board and waiting for a turn with multiple reflected words of grace. Uh, yeah. The initial version of Priests was more of a mid-range list, capable of winning via heal or beating an opponent down. Purple Priest is an aggro heal deck. It has one game plan, but win by getting 40... Uh, by getting to 40 life, and it aims to achieve that win condition as quickly as possible, while most aggro decks aim to convert cards into damage as quickly as possible. Purple Priests aims to convert cards into life gain as quickly as possible. So here we have the deck. There are a bunch of versions of this. I'm sure what I'm playing isn't exactly the same as what Cruel Tech and Vital are playing. Consider this a starting point. You can add your own flavor to it. Um, so let's see. Most of the... Of the of the inclusions are self-explanatory. Here are a few that aren't in my version that you can consider. So let's see. Uh, I actually copied it right here. And this is what he runs. Of course we have uh, White Six, Yiddix, Kamsiand. Uh, whenever you gain a hero skill, we can draw a card, which is pretty nice. Uh, which we don't have any, by the way. So we <laughs> don't have any hero abilities anyways. And whenever we play a non-ancient spell, lose one life. By the way, he got um, he got buffed, didn't he? Was that, was that always the case? That... Oh, yeah. True. No, he, he got reworked because at the beginning, uh, before, <laughs> it shows you that I didn't play uh, after the uh, after the batch of new cards got released. Before, of course, you had one more card in your starting hand and they changed that to whenever you gain a new hero skill, you draw a card, which actually makes sense. Um, it slows down the aggro a little bit with this guy. But yeah, uh, 25 life makes sense. Why do they want to give me deuce 5 to life? X-rated. Um... Makes sense because, you know, it's easier to get to 40 life with him, obviously, even though he gets damaged by spells that you play, but we'll see about that. Sentry of the Light, four times. Valor plus one. Okay, that's self-explanatory. Awesome one drop. Rally Guard can attack. It's a 3-0, three, three speed. It's a priest. Uh, that guy isn't, yeah. That's a priest. Okay, so that makes sense. Lifebound priest or Sunblessed priest. 2-2-2 two, two, two speed lifebound. Makes sense as well. Sunblessed emissary. Oh, yeah, okay. Sunblessed emissary. 3-2-2 two, two speed. 
pretty good card actually. And it's challenging. You can use Sunblast Emissaries energy to pay for the mana cost of Blessing cards. We're gonna see which kind of Blessing cards we have in here. Whenever you use Sunblast uh, Emissaries energy to play a Blessing, draw a card. Hmm. So even card draw. That card is actually pretty good. For now, Mirror of the Binding Light gets uh, one life for each priest that we control. This is a priest? That's also a priest. Okay. Didn't know that. A little bit costly, obviously, but still a pretty good uh, early game drop. Same goes for Namir, 333 three speed and has the ability, if we pay one mana, to get another creature up to, uh, basically give it, a, give it a Might Emblem pl for plus one, plus one for each knight that we control. So that also counts, obviously, for this guy. So it would be a 2-2, two -two actually, for one mana for one creature and make him sleepy, obviously. Uh, two Bloodwell Matriarchs. Okay. Uh, at the start of your turn, uh, plus one energy, obviously, and we can uh, play an action card from the enemy hero's graveyard that is level two or less, and it also gets back uh, shuffled back into the deck of um, the enemy. Also, it's a great blocker at four HP. We have four Word of Grace, which gives us two life, plus one for uh, extra life for each of our order levels. Uh, minus one, because White Ticks gets one damage, uh, because it's not an ancient spell. Uh, same goes for Holy Radiance. We have four copies of these. Awesome board wipe, obviously. I think the maximum... Yeah, the maximum that we have to go for is actually, like, for creatures at least, is two order levels for... Uh, so we can play Namir. And... Okay, yeah, that, that is played Bloodwell Matriarch. So what I think is two order levels, one Dominion levels, we can play anything. Maybe we want to go up additional order levels just for Word of Grace so we get a little bit more out of that. But other than that, we only need... Basically, we only need two order and one uh, Dominion to play anything here. In still life, return up to two non-spirit creatures. That's a bless, that's not a blessing. Uh, that's a spell. Let me see, I think only Word of Grace is a blessing. Wait, where the... Oh, blessing, there it is. Okay, 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 never mind. Okay, so that is not a blessing, my bad. But we can play this. Yeah, we can play this with uh, the channeling ability. It's exactly two mana from Sunblast. Uh, this one, however, isn't. So basically, we use Sunblast for Holy Radiance. I would assume. Uh, yeah, this one isn't. This one isn't either. That would have been maybe a little bit OP actually. If this also uh, would be, would have been a blessing. Um, but okay, with mana cost two or less. So basically. That gives us back Namir, the Sunblessed please, please, Priest, Relic Guard, and Sentry. So yeah, that gets a, it gets a, it gets a little bit. Superiority. Yeah, I, I have seen the Path of Transcendence stream, obviously, and I've seen how garbage this card actually is. Um, I'm on board with um, the fuss on that, though. In the last game, last game, in the last episode of Spellweaver Ranked, um, we actually seen Superiority trigger exactly four times. The enemy is still lost, but, um... And it was actually mid-game. It wasn't when he was uh, already ahead. So, against control decks, could work, maybe. Um, but yeah, at the start of your turn, draw a card. And gain two life if, if you are the hero with the most cards. Oh, okay, he also gets card draws from this. I forgot about that. So, most cards could happen. Uh, most creatures could happen. They're quite cheap. And uh, most life, which could also happen because why takes Yedix Kamsian starts with um, 25 HP anyways. Four Angelic Temples. Whenever an allied priest enters the field, plus one energy, obviously. Uh, if he has two energy, it's a 3-3-2 speed flying lifebound angel. And that's a fucking mouthful. 12 Order Shrines and seven Dominion Shrines. So let's see what cards we can also include. We have C, a KFC, as I like to call them. I played a version with four KFCs. It's great, particularly in the mirror. Oftentimes, though, I found myself DOing it. KFC can work well with Namir to buff temples. Definitely. But since you aren't usually playing to drop your opponent's life, KFC isn't a must include. If you include it, if you do include it, consider cutting either the Centuries of Light or the Holy Radiances. Mm. Nah, because the, the Centuries also help out for Namir, and that's also more life gain if there are more... Or for, for the ability from um, Namir, so... Guess I keep it that. Spellborn causes fits for rage, particularly rage rush, but you probably shouldn't lose to rage rush anyway. I'll take your word for that. Ancient Blessed Knight, a staple of past priest decks. It doesn't fit as well here because you aren't uh, running Gomor or Hermillion. 
Yeah, but it still can help you out with um, Word of Grace. And Gomo, you can run one. I usually wouldn't run more than more than that. You aren't trying to beat folks down. You are trying to heal quickly, which can be a thing because you can make him life bound. Um, but okay. So I kind of see the idea. I want to include Spell Warden, to be honest. But um, I'm going to go with, with the list that he uh, initially came up with. I don't really see... Some Blessed Emissary is only good for Holy Radiance, however. Isn't it? I mean, uh, yeah, Holy Radiance and the card draw. And it's a pretty good blocker, I guess. But still, I don't really see the appeal because there's only one Blessing in there. Or is the angel... Is, is he a blessing? Of course he isn't. He's an artifact. Oh, superiority is a blessing. Never the fucking mind. Okay. Okay, never mind then. I never played superiority, by the way. So that is going to be a new uh, territory for me. But this is the list that Vanguard X um, has intended. I'm kind of scared because I never played this deck before. And... Uh, yeah, last time, you know, with Rage Dominion, I know what I was playing with Rage Dominion Zash. So we actually netted a couple of wins, and it would be pretty shitty if we dropped. But, you know, it's a learning experience. So, uh, with a guy who never played this deck before, we're going to see how well this goes. We are at a rating of 1,155 on a rank on rank 209. Let's see. By the way, who's online? Okay, not too many. Uh, Dobritch is already in a game. Whoops. Dobritch is already in a game. Okay. So uh, maybe we don't have any, uh, don't have too much uh, pros to fear in this one, which is kind of good. So let's see how this goes. That was really fast in game number one against Black Armor Enoch. Uh, I would can <laughs> fucking I fucking keep this. Don't don't think I'm gonna keep that. I'm I'm gonna keep that. Exactly what I needed, baby. Let's put down one of those good old temples right here and get started right away. That is not a priest, sadly, but we, 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 we're gonna get it. We're gonna get it eventually. Apparent ghoul, so we are running against Zombos, I guess. Which is, <laughs> which is technically a rush archetype. Which should be to our advantage. According to um, Vanguard X, at least. Does corruption have artifact removal? Uh, well, yeah, um, now nah, I was about to say, um, Bloodwitch Harpy, but zombies wouldn't run that because it would be pretty shitty because that would basically wipe their own board. So yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's zombies. Pure, plain, plain old, regular zombos that we run up against here. That's pretty good. Mm. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put down that Holy Radiance like it's no one's damn business. Slow him down a little bit. And then next turn... Sun Blessed Priest, the turn after that. Sun Blessed Emissary. Getting right up in there. Mm, he might drop another, another Infected Survivor. Why not? Or maybe not to be able to block something. We're gonna see. Superiority would also be pretty nice now, because... No, well, not necessarily. He might beat us down a little bit faster than... Then we could actually benefit from it. I definitely want to make sure that these... That sucks. Um, that these two um, angelic temples are going off. Tomb sucks, however. Tomb sucks quite a bit. <clears throat> However, some blessed. And that doesn't only trade uh, don't doesn't only deal with the zombie, unless of course he uses hero ability now. But it also uh, survives. Kills up a zombie and survives. It's good in my book. We were actually able to, to play that rather fast. I didn't expect that. So let's see if this guy has something to deal with. The Sun Blessed Emissary. If that is his name. Yeah, it is. <laughs> of course, I play this guy all the time. I don't. 
not really. Its priority might actually be of use for us next turn. Or the turn... Nah, yeah, we only have three mana. I need to go up one more as uh, one more mana and then we can play some. Then we could have played some blast into superiority, but oh, midnight cravings. Oh. Oh. Okay. That's a pretty good decision. He gets back to the graveyard though, doesn't he? I think he, I think he, I, I think he is. Yeah, sacrifice it, okay. That was an interesting play, I gotta say. However, uh, I welcome you to the barrage of uh, something awesome. Ooh, nice. And that is called... Angelic Temples! Let's get rid of this. I could have had a, th a third one, actually, on the board, which would have been pretty disgusting. <laughs> Do we use... Well, we, let's use Word of Grace, why not? We're, we are at it. 22 HP. Let's, let's go. Let's fucking go. Superiority next turn. Easy. <clears throat> yeah, we can also deal with a Flesh Sculpture, if it is in the front line, obviously. We have the Speed Advantage as well. Ah, that kind of sucks. That also sucks. Puts us down a little bit, but I think I'm just gonna play Sentry. For this, I was about to say, but maybe he has something to remove it. Down to one mana. Ah, my god, dude. You suck ass, you know that? <laughs> it just takes all the fun away, but the good thing is he only has one card in hand now. That's pretty neato. And you know what that means. It means this. And it means this is a blessing, so I'm gonna channel this. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Buff this up, kill that, and we are good. This is how we do it. So we get um, trigger from now at least, HP. Yeah, we can block one. HP, creatures, and cards in hand. And that... Uh, <laughs> and that's the first game for us. Okay, uh, this game surprised me, I gotta say. Um... I mean, just judging against zombies, the deck seems to be pretty good. I mean, he he threw all the removal that he had. Kind of shitty that he didn't draw, like, Word of Pain, which would have redrawn itself, obviously. But he threw pretty much every removal that he had, was down to one card. That basically didn't, apparently didn't do anything for him. And superiority actually works with this. This is weird. What, what, what is this? If we enter the Twilight Zone? <laughs> I'm not sure. It's a weird feeling. So let's just... Let's, let's just go in game number two and see how it goes, I guess. This is weird. This is really weird. Game number two against Le Malsi. This hand? I keep that. That looks pretty good. Uh, this, oh, plate work. Plate. Plague Worm and Summer Dono Senpai. Interesting. Um, so yeah, next turn I'm a Spark. I'm a Spark and I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm gonna liken it because I'm gonna drop some Blessed Priest and Sentry and buff up the some Blessed with the Sentry. Does that make sense, I guess? Okay, that's Order Dominion uh, bullshit. So we're gonna see how we handle this. This guy, this guy's fast. What the hell? Ch take a chill pill. Wow. Now I would actually love like an, an angelic temple. It would have been pretty nice. Let's get one out. Buff this up. And let's see how he deals with it. Probably has like devious plot or some shit. Could be a thing. 
<laughs> Sell into slavery. Alright, alright, alright. Could be interesting. Probably doesn't attack. Because he doesn't want to use his superior plague vermin. Mm, maybe sub mm. Four cards. If I put down superiority, we, we win two life for life. And the card draw for for most life. Not for most creatures, that's for Ding Dong damn sure. But for that, for um For life and for most card in hand. But I don't think I'm gonna play this just yet. I think. <laughs> what what kind of a curve is this? Oh well, let's, let's just put one of these down. Mm, okay, let's. This is gonna get killed, that's for sure. So I'm just gonna block him. Mm, so he can't double block, he's gonna use Plague Vermin on this so it dies. Probably trade this off next turn. Yeah, I think that's that, that, that's better than letting him attack next turn, I feel. Because if he uses Plague Vermin on this, that would be... Pretty damn stupid, yes. This fuck these fucking Christians. Oops. Everything everything good in the hood. Ah, <laughs> uh, bl uh, mm-hmm. Blood witch harpy. Yeah, that's that's also a thing that can happen. Of course I'm gonna trade it with that because it's gonna die anyways. Like, this! <laughs> uh, yeah, that could uh, put a little dent in our uh, strategy right here. However, we can actually just revive them with um, Insta Life. Uh, thing is, however, um, I'm gonna play Superiority. Yeah, toss one. Yeah, but yeah, of course. I mean, if we hit um, Holy Radiance, it's gonna get dealt with. That's for sure. Uh, but we win in terms of a couple of things, which is pretty neato. Mm, how many? We can get two back. We already have two in there. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Gotta be interesting to see what this is actually is when he plays. Oh, we might not um, get the... We might not get the, the threshold for most HP, I just realized this by the way. Because he's gonna go in... Yeah, and draws don't count, so we don't, we don't get that. But we get most cards. Oh, we only get one trigger, most cards. I mean, it's two HP. And a, and a card draw, so I don't mind it. Oh, we do get uh, more HP. Yeah, we do. So we get two triggers. Most H Pizzle, most cards. Good shit. Sweet. Uh, none. So yeah, the problem now is when I put down Angelic Temple, it's just gonna get removed, which sucks ass! This fucking card right here is sucking. Like a lot. Mm, but I'm just gonna keep keep uh, Namir down, I guess. Or put Namir, do Namir down. I need five mana. Put down the, the angelic temple. Go in still life. Get two life bound priests. Yeah, that would be five mana. Two life bound priests. Immediately get this active. And go for damage. That could be a thing. That could be a thing we could do. And he basically has an uh, has a has a ma mana. Oh fucking fucking this shit. <sighs> Oh, yeah, I'm okay. And, uh, yeah. That is gonna suck so much balls. 
But I mean, we have another Namir that can hold that can hold us up. So, not that big of a deal. Why that? Why doesn't he just use Soul Prism? Would have rather used him having used Soul Prism because that would have gotten that out of the way. So I'm just gonna drop another Namir and get that removed, and then we're gonna see. For oh, that's pretty good. Let's see. Okay, superiority. We get most cards. We don't get most HP. But yeah, we do get one trigger for most cards, and that's it. So that's one trigger. Mm. If I use this... Four, we will get three. 31 HP goes in for 25. We would have more. So I'm going, going a little bit risque. Going for Word of Grace. Maybe we draw... Holy Radiance, but we don't. Uh, drop down superiority. 4, 2, 24. Yeah, he can swing in for 24 damage. 25. Uh, damn, 25. Because uh, he's gonna have to sack a zombie. Oh, he doesn't? I think that's a bug, because he's actually supposed to... Well, that sucks. But yeah, you can also use that, of course. <sighs> Fuck me dead. That is so fucking bad. That is so bad. Got two triggers. None. None. You dipshit. <laughs> okay, let's see. Ah, just, holy Radiance. Ah, it's not Holy Radiance. Fuck. Okay, I'm waiting one more turn. I don't know if I have to sec this. No, it's not a creature, it's an artifact, so he should I shouldn't have to resect this. I hope. Um Yes. Just get this out for the lulz. Might as well, right? Mmm, not too sure. I mean, he's just gonna use the Necromantic Cult. But yeah, I might as well. Maybe I should have... I could have saved it for... for to puff up the, the Angelic Temple, obviously, but... Could be a good blocker as well, and that... Slows down the cult a little bit, I guess. Not by a huge amount, but at least a little bit. Because he has to use one... Uh, two... Might emblems and only gets one back. Or, yeah, doesn't matter anyways. <clears throat> oh, and, oh yeah, true. That doesn't grow the blood sticking mutant. That's pretty cool. Oh, and now holy radiance would be pretty sweet, actually. You know, that would help out quite a little bit. Because I'm not too sure if I should actually fucking... <sighs> holy radi- Oh, holy shit, more like. Okay. Um... Okay, let's actually see. Um, six, two, four, six. Twelve H- Twelve damage. I'm going down to sixteen. Yes. Fuck your couch, boy. Okay, let's get Word of Grace going. Get a little bit of more life back right here. Get to 19, my boy! Sorry, I'm getting a little bit excited here. Uh, Relic Guard. All up in your system! Th 
fuck these blood witch harpies. We, we might come back, dudes. We might come back. Of course, still the problem is the necromantic cult, obviously. But we'll see. We'll see. We have seven mana then, by the way. Which means we can also use Namir to bump up one, um, one temple. Noxious? Maybe. <clears throat> of course. He wants to grow him. 15 damage. Okay. So that kills three of his creatures. Still, the Necromantic Cult is gonna be alive. Another one, my, my dude. Another one. That's that sucks. <laughs> that sucks for sure. And there's still triggers. That's disgusting. All right then. Okay, two. This is nine, three, six. That work. That works. That fucking works. This, this. Done. Yes. Three, six, nine. Damn, you're fine. <laughs> yes! Fuck that necromantic cult, that fucking 80 whatever, how many fucking shit he has. Damn! Stabilized! And we have, we have two more instills. Uh, sadly, the angelic temples don't count. Uh, yeah, I can't get anything back right here, actually. Ah, well, the relic guard, but it doesn't do much. Okay, that's minus one instill life, I guess. Four cards left for him. For our meme lord, Lelele Malsi. I'm gonna be keeping that. Let's toss this for now. All right. Mm. One priest. Huh. I mean, I could. <sighs> Let's fucking do it. Get this guy. And still alive. Him and him. Done. Buff this up. Go face. Yes! Yes! Oh, that's a feeling, my boy. That's a fucking feeling right here. I can feel it. <sighs> okay. What you got? What you really, really got? I got bored for days, my boy. That's what I got. Okay, that sucks. Deals with also one of these, I guess. Sucks a little bit. Soul Prison, however, we don't have to be afraid of that. Which is kind of good. Another deep fuck. You <laughs> just fuck you, <laughs> really, man. Ah, fuck you, dude, really. Ah, oh, well, I'll just get another one, I guess. <laughs> Doesn't fucking matter. Okay, what well, I that, that, that I would ever say this, but I actually wanted to get superiority. <laughs> Let's go, beats. Making sure we utilize it. What's up, meme lord Lelele Malsi? That is up, apparently. Soul Prison? 
Probably. <clears throat> but we all know what I'm going to sack. Oh. Mmm, insta laugh doesn't count. That's three. He could get superiority, which doesn't do anything for him. Holy Radiance only deals one damage. It's not too much, I guess. An insta life would suck. I was about to say, yeah, Word of Grace. It's good that he cycles that back for us, however. <sighs> yeah, I, w I was wondering when he was fucking Eustace, for fuck's sake. <sighs> One more card in hand, zero mana. I can go in for three beats. That's awesome. Okay. All right then. Uh, what do we have here? Um, we have two sun blessed priests. Uh, don't really want to use that to be honest. Maybe we have to. Nah, but it would just get removed actually by by either of his blockers. So you know, yeah. I mean, he said we don't win with life gain, but right now we kind of have to uh, by depleting the enemy's HP. But now we kind of have to. I could also get back some uh, relic guard. I could also bump. Mm. How many? Temples do we have in here? One, two, three, four. All of them, so. Not gonna be using it now. We can. I mean, at one point, we definitely. I definitely have to get back one Relic Guard, I guess, just as a blocker for. Um, for. What's it called? Um. Soul Prison, but the problem is, of course, now with this shit and this shit, he can actually just use this three times to kill it off. Which he will. Great. But I can also just get him back. That's also a thing. Missed the DO right there, by the way. And went for card draw, I guess? With the Valley thing? Which is a great, great addition, by the way. It's a really great addition right here. Valley, well, Valley of the Ancients. I haven't paid attention to deck size, by the way, but it could be that now we have like 60 plus decks. Just because they add, la add in some uh, some Valley cards. Wouldn't surprise me. No superiority. Okay, let's get back some shit. Uh, namely, that and that. Done. This one, obviously. Mm. Right. Gets removed again. I guess. Ah, well, no, not necessarily. Much hate. Yeah, I don't think we can win this, sadly. It doesn't look good. Two superiorities. Yeah, now he has kind of board presence, which sucks, and this thing generates basically everything that he needs for his stupid-ass necromantic cult now. Yeah, let's resign. Ah, uh, well, well... Nah. Let's play this out. Maybe we get, like, two fireballs or something. <laughs> 
You never know. You never know. Never, never say never in the world of this bell weaver. Well, well, there is superiority. Put this down and resign, cause fuck this, fuck this shit. <laughs> now nah, that was a good game, I gotta say. Minus twenty. Of course, we lose more than we actually gain for winning. What the fuck game? Ah well, but uh, you know, was a good game still.